in their third game of the season and 30th consecutive attempt at winning at the Honda Center, the Calgary Flames finally broke a 13-year streak of futility, or 11 years, if you count playoffs. After losing the last 25 straight regular season games, 29 if you count playoffs, at 2695 East Catella Avenue, the palatial palm tree lined home of the Anaheim Ducks, the Flames snapped the mind-boggling skid with a 2-0 victory on Monday. Seriously? Mickelback London Sean Monaghan's goals will go down in history as the markers that finally got the job done. Ditto for Mike Smith who turned aside 43 Ducks attempts to help his new team improve to 2-1-0 on the season. I was down playing it, maybe a little bit, said the Flames netminder. But when you play a team that long and you're not on the winning part of it, I think it gets old pretty fast. I've been on teams when it's happened to me. I wanted to help this team get over that hump. Smith, by the way, was a hero in the final minutes battling right until the buzzer, when former flame Derek Grant battled with Travis Hamonic in a goalmouth scramble. Smith appeared to jam his left arm with 14.8 seconds remaining, but hung on to post his first shutout with his new team. I was just trying to be solid back there, he said. I learned a lot over my career. One thing is I look after what I can control. That's how I'm going to do my job this year, whether it's 43 or 20, I have to be back there and strong for this group. They were hitting me tonight in bumps, and bruises come along with it, but it's nothing that's going to keep me out. With the Flames up 1-0 heading into the third period, back London the rest of his line had fended off Ryan Jetsliff who'd made his return after missing the opening two games of the year with a lower body injury. After a few nice chances, Backlund burned down to the duck's end and released a shot that will be played on highlight reel loops for the next few days. It's nice to get it over with, Backlund said. Now we can move on and just play regular games here. We probably could have done this in the spring in game two. I thought we were the way better team then, but they got the lucky bounce. We were like, oh, it's the curse. But now it's nice to finally break it. Matthew Tkachuk should be recognized for his game after he drew two penalties and nearly scored a third goal for the Flames off a two-on-one with Michael Frolic. The 19-year-old Sofa Moore was also called for goaltender interference after resident pest Corey Perry had pulled him into John Gibson's net. Not only did the Flames kill it off, Matt Stajan was able to provide a shorthanded breakaway. Yes. It happened. The last time the Flames won during the regular season in Anaheim was January 19, 2004, making it 25 regular season losses in a row. The last time they won in the playoffs in the building was April 25, 2006. Monaghan's marker had put them on the score sheet thanks to a fantastic passing play, eventually teed up by Chris Versteeg on the man advantage with 3.33 remaining in the second period. The goal was a dramatic shift in momentum. Until that point, it could have gone either way. Gibson, rattled earlier after taking a doggy Hamilton shot off his coconut, made his best stop shortly before that, when Monaghan and Johnny Godreau teamed up for a two-on-one. The fans cheered for their netminder, a Ducks-pleasing series as Chris Wagner had just laid out Matt Bertkowski which was retribution for a hit he delivered on Dennis Rasmussen. The rough stuff was standard for the evening, a carryover from the 2017 NHL playoffs, and Harmonic familiarized himself with the Pacific Division rivalry hatred early on. The new Flames D-man took offense to Perry when he cranked Mark Giordano in front of Smith's net while the Flames were penalty killing. Harmonic, coming to the captain's defense, dropped the gloves following a 5-on-3 Ducks advantage. It's part of my game, Hamonic said. Those things happen and, Perry, is one of the better players in the league. If you can get him off and sitting on the bench for seven minutes, I'm doing my job. Calgary had a few too many miscues in the first ten minutes. But they found their flow, looking like the team that beat the Winnipeg Jets 6-3 at home on Saturday. They had two power play opportunities in the first and drew another early in the second period, 
when drew his second penalty of the night, egging on Jetlzef. Jetslip was dragged off for roughing, but the Flames let the man advantage go to waste. So, what was it? At a season ticket holder luncheon in the off-season, Flames GM Brad Treleving and President of Hockey Operations Brian Burke indicated they were going to make a sacrifice to a higher power this summer to try and eventually earn a victory in the haunted Honda Center. Gulatson indicated after Monday's morning skate they'd brought in someone and put together something for the players regarding the streak. He wouldn't reveal anything more. That's all I'm going to say, he said. We brought someone in. He's not very big. Turns out it was a pint-sized figurine of Jobu, the good luck charm from the movie Major League who had a locker stall and nameplate in the team's dressing room. Well, it worked. The Flames square off with the Los Angeles Kings on Wednesday, before returning home to host the Ottawa Senators.